In this video, we're going to show how much ammo we have left on the side of the screen right here. So, normally, you know, when we shoot and we run out of ammo, we, there's just no way for me to know that I've run out. So, what we're going to do is create... Oh, well, first, actually, you need a, a picture of something you want to show on your screen. I've already got one in Assets, Resources, Textures. I made a folder called Textures. And here's a picture of a lightning bolt. You can just pick anything you want. Mine's transparent on the outside. And we'll use that. So in Scripts, right-click, Create, C-Sharp Script. Call it MO Display. And open that up. So from the... Uh, the blob shoot or projectile shoot video from before. Um, you may have a, f a couple of these, but you should have ammunition here and game variables. So we're going to use that same thing in ammo display. Now, we need two things to draw a picture on the screen. We need where it's going to be, and we need a texture. So rect is going to be where it's going to be. This will be the coordinates of the first lightning bolt we want to draw. And then we also need a texture. We'll call it texture. So in start, we're going to set our rectangle. And this has um, a left top width height, so an x coordinate, y coordinate, width, and height. Um, so you could write something like 50, 50, I don't know. You could guess on how many pixels to the left you want, but if you have a small screen or a big screen, your, pic your pictures, your textures could be really tiny and really big or mushed together or spread apart. It's kind of messy. You want to use actually the size of your screen. So screen.width. I'm going to make my x coordinate 5% of that. I'm going to make my y coordinate 95% um, of the height because um, the y coordinate starts at the top, so 0 is at the top. And the width, I'm going to again use screen.width. It's going to be 5% of that. And just to make it square, I'll do the same thing for the height. So now we have a rect, the place of our first texture. And we need a texture. We're going to load our resource. Remember the folder was textures, the file was energy, as texture. Now the reason we put this in start is so that we only open the picture once. If we put it in here, we'd be opening it every frame. And you might notice when you open a picture on your computer, like in Paint to edit it, it takes just, you know, a tenth of a second or half a second to open the picture. That's pretty quick, but it's not quick enough for update. You only really want to do that once. This is opening the picture to just get it ready. So now that it's ready, we're going to, we can draw a texture like so. All right, so draw texture. Oh, of course. This can't happen in update, actually. Just like we have a start, hap Unity makes this happen when you start, or when the object starts. Update happens every frame. You might have seen another one was on fixed, on collision, enter. You know, there's a few, a few like this that Unity makes happen. One we're gonna use now is on GUI. That's a capital O, little n, capital G, capital U, capital I. So, in that, we can do stuff like GUI, draw texture. Now, this takes a rect and an image. So we have both already. Now, let's see what this does. We're going to attach it to our player. Oh, there's a, an error there. Double float 9. OK, MO display on line 9, it says. The, yeah, decimals need an F in C sharp, just to be clear that it's a decimal, it's a float for F. 
Okay, the project was able to you know compile, so that worked. So now I'm gonna click my player, add mo display, and we'll see what we got. Okay, we have well, it's one lightning bolt kind of hiding. I'll make it a little higher, but we do on the bottom left have a, that yellow lightning bolt, so that's good. I'm just gonna make it start at 90%. Now, this only draws it once. What we want to do is draw as many as you know, we have, and that, that's in game variables, ammunition. That's the number of times we want to draw the lightning bolt. So when you want to do lots of the same thing, that's a for loop, I will start at zero, as long as I is less than our ammunition. Ooh, what's going on there? Less than game variables dot ammunition and I++. Plus plus. Okay, so this is going to happen the number of times, the, uh, you know, the number that of ammunition we have. So if we have 10, this will happen 10 times. I will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like so. We do need to change rectangle just a little bit to move where we're drawing it, because this will draw 10 in the same spot. So I'm going to make rect new rect equals mm, new rect I'm going to use the x coordinate the y coordinate is going to be the same as our y but minus i times screen dot mm, I probably, oh whatever, I could have done this a little clearer 7% of the screen each time it moves up It'll move up 7% of the screen higher, a little bit, um, a little bit less. So uh, then the width is going to be the same, and the height is going to be the same. So now we have our new rect, and we just pop it in here and save it. There you go. We've got a few lightning bolts, and when I click, they go away.